My daughter Reese is highly, highly involved in both high school cheer as well as all-star cheer. And then my son is involved in lacrosse. And my youngest, Logan, has a chance to be a great, great lacrosse player as well. And Waco doesn't have lacrosse. And so, you know, it just, it felt wrong to move them. If you'd have moved me as a junior in high school and told me I couldn't play basketball, I'm not sure I would have ever forgiven my parents. You know, it's, it's not easy and it's not perfect, but it would be harder to move them and they'd be unhappier here than kind of sticking to what they know and what they love and staying there. I have an off day tomorrow, so 5.45 a.m. flight back to Atlanta to see my oldest daughter in her first all-star cheer comp. You know, I know Waco's supposed to be home, but home is still where the family is, so I've been going about a month in between visits. Just excited to get home. Thank you. Thank you. The getting away component is, is getting tougher, obviously, now. But this fall, if I had a day off or had a 36-hour window and they had an activity, I got home. There haven't been a lot of off minutes for me. There haven't been a lot of sleep in mornings or stay up late and watch Netflix, but it fills my bucket just to be able to see them. Not a lot of sleep. Quite frankly, didn't even go to sleep. Coaching, like, you're so nomadic that no place you ever feel settled um, until your family is truly there. So it feels good to be back. And even if it's basically 24 hours, which is really all it is. Just excited to see Reese compete. I did get to see a video of her showcase yesterday. Might even make some lacrosse um, if, if it all works out and, and Logan's team advances. Just be good to see him. So here we go. being able to put your arms around your kid and you be there for them. I know how important it is to support them and the things they love. Where do you start, though? Left, front, and I'm in a line so you can't see me, and then I step out and I do it too. As a parent, all you want to do is have your kids find something that they love. And it doesn't matter if it's sports or, or whatever, but you know, when they find it, you want to encourage, you want to be there, you want to be someone that they can lean on. Yeah! Like, I'm used to being around sports where you can fix mistakes in the midst of playing. But when you don't get to fix mistakes until the next time out, and they practice hour after hour for just two and a half minutes, <laughs> like, it just kind of doesn't make sense to me. Good job. Love you. I certainly feel a lot of mom guilt. You rely on a lot of, lot of other people to help you out with your kids and to get them to things and you know Tom's obviously stretch really thin with with three of them it would be different if they were little and they could you know drop everything to come see me more often but that's just not the nature of everything they have going on yeah. Logan just scored right there you missed it uh, as I was like turning so the corner, I saw Logan score down yeah. here. So, Dave will tell it. You saw it all. Yeah, like I have. I'm I'm in town for less than 24 hours. So, I saw a cheer comp. I get to see this. Yes, there you go. Oh, is that it? Or is that yeah, halftime? Oh, y'all yeah. were scared. <laughs> Wait, who's this? Uh, oh, this is ESPN. Oh, this is. Oh, this yes. is <laughs> Are you like mic'd up? Yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up? La, 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 What's up, girl? I've yeah. known Coach Nikki since I was little, and she used she taught me basketball. <laughs> <laughs> she is my idol. <laughs> 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 <laughs>